Welcome. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my EP that's going to be released on July the 17th. And um, up until the release date, I would like to talk about the songs, where they came from, and today I chose to speak about the artwork. So the artwork was inspired by um, a beautiful encounter that I had with a woman at my job. So I work at a mini mart, which is a gas station that doesn't have pumps. And I transferred to a new store that was in the city. I've worked every shift. I've done first, second, and third. But I would have to say that I love the different characters that I get to meet on the third shift. It's quite interesting. And I was doing second shift and a lady walks in and I could tell that she's strung out on drugs. I see her and the moment that I see her, Christ in me is absolutely drawn to this woman. So I start to engage her in conversation and I find that the Lord continues to bring her to my heart. I'm making coffee and then he drops her in my heart. And so I begin to pray for her and, and I turn around and she's standing there. Um, I would be walking from the back and he would drop her in my heart again. So I'd begin to pray for her, cut around the corner, she'd be standing there. I would be driving on my way to work and he would put her in my heart again. And I would pray for her. And I remember one day he said to me, ask her if she wants to be free. And I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking maybe he just wants me to take that first step. I'll ask her the question and then we'll go from there. He'll give me something else to say. He, he didn't. She was in somebody's car and the guy was inside the store. And uh, so I walk up to her and I said, you know, do you want to be free? And she looks at me and she goes, what? Do you want to be free from, from all of this? And she says, yes. And I'm thinking, okay, Lord, no, now's the time to, to give me the next thing to say. And um, I got nothing. So I was just like, okay, well, I'm praying for you. <laughs> and she kind of gives me this odd look. The guy comes out and I kind of back away from the vehicle and she leaves. But every time I see her, I just want to bless her. You know, every time the Lord lays her on my heart, I can't help but pray for her. But there is such a love that I could feel in my spirit that the Lord has for her. So one day or one night, really, she comes in and I can't remember exactly how it happened, what was said. But I remember she grabs onto me and she's hugging me and I, I wrap my arms around her and I begin to speak what God has done and the love that he has for her into her ears while she's holding on to me. And I could just feel her melting in my arms. So I let her go and I knew in that moment that the Holy Spirit had hit her spirit. So she's outside and she's pacing back and forth and she's looking inside. And I see her out there and she's cleaning out the ashtray. She's picking up the trash and she's looking in the store. And I could tell that she's had an encounter with God, but she just doesn't know how to express it. And so I'm inside the store and I'm, I'm still doing things. I'm cleaning up, I'm preparing, you know, getting everything ready for first shift. And um, I look up. And she comes into the store and she's trembling. And she has these flowers, these beautiful yellow flowers. And I seen that she had pulled these things up from the root. And the roots are hanging from this flower. And she's shaking and she gives it to me. In that moment, I felt so much love come from her. It literally reminds me of the scripture where it says that we love because God first loved us. She had felt the love of God and she didn't know what to do with it. But she knew she wanted to do something. The response to love is love. And so she gives me these flowers. She has no idea, but those flowers so hit me to the core of my heart. The love of her response. It reminds me of the woman with the two mites, where Jesus said that, you know, out of everybody that was here, she gave everything that she had. 
To me, that was all that she could give me, but it was the most beautiful gift and I will never forget it. I just, I thank God for the opportunity to be able to be a part of this with him. And um, I knew that when she gave it to me, I knew that was gonna be the album cover. I hope that you guys pick it up, that you're blessed by it. Love Walk, July 17th. And as always, grace and peace.